Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. This episode is brought to you by Rolling Rock. And look how it disappears. And Oak Creek Brewery. And Oak Creek Brewery. This is our there you go. national beer review. Yes, 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 yes. Beer review. So beer. we are very excited because so much has been going on lately with our new short film, Aliens Everywhere. Yeah, Aliens Everywhere. So tell us, tell them. What it was like when we were filming in the Dells. It was pretty badass. That yeah, was a beautiful place. The chemtrails. Well, the, oh, the chem oh, yeah. Trails. Start with that. The chemtrails. That. That's basically, that's what I think of it most of the day. It was crazy. So, 9 o'clock in the morning, perfectly yeah. blue skies. Yeah. Solid blue. Dark you can, blue. You can tell everybody, all the airplanes or whatever wasn't flying right or whatever. Right. Right. It seems like at 9 o'clock, everything just, then throughout the day from 9 o'clock... Well, we saw noon. we saw one plane. Yeah. Then we saw two planes. And then we, then we saw, saw a crazy hatching. Yes. It was like a weird crosshatch huge, thing going. Huge hatching going on. Yeah. And by the time we got done filming at about two and a half hours, three hours into the Dells, the the sky, as you'll see, is white. Yep. It it was like ruining the light. Yeah, it kind of altered our good sunlight. Um, we were so in our in our that. aliens everywhere film, we're going to yeah. bring up the fact that there is some yeah. chemtrails and stuff like that. Chemtrails. Yeah, because that that was crazy. It really was, and we were just like, man, that's messing up our shot. Now what are we going to have to do? We might have to reshoot it under different lighting. I mean, it's created a lot of issues. Yeah, but good thing it's being shot at night, so we were able to change most of the scenes. Yeah. There. To nighttime and anyways. I'm quite happy with the nighttime scene. Yeah, I think it's I all. Mean, I think it's going to be good. I, think, I mean, guys, we have an epic mothership that rolls. Yes, and then beating yes. down these aliens. It's it's going to be cool. You're gonna yes, like and it. we're going to have a lot of, you know, interesting, fun stuff. Oh, of course. With the, with the spaceship beaming people up, especially, you know, we'll see yeah. how everything works out. Yeah. No, we're having a lot of fun with this one, and yes, we have a script. Okay, but it's going to be a loose script. Yeah, it's because so it's going to be a little bit more impromptu. Because we don't have like actors yeah. that like are paid. We've got people that like when they read the lines, they're not kind of believable. It's kind of strange. So we're going to kind of like right. let everyone kind of have a take a twist, yeah. so that that we can right. get out the best of their personality. Yeah. So we can do the best we can. And it you just know, flows. For, yeah. You know. So and plus, I'm, in, I, I'm plus, nervous about being in the film plus, myself. I mean, so. yeah. So you're looking at Officer Bobby Officer right Bobby. here. It's going to be Robert's acting debut. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be fun. Um, tomorrow we are filming our first green screen, um, our truck scene that's going to be in the Dells. Kevin will be playing Salacious Crumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be filming. This guy yeah. is going to be sitting in the I was truck. supposed to be filming, but now I've been hijacked. But this guy is going to be in the truck, and he's going to realize there's aliens in the back seat. Yes, so yes. you're going to like this scene. Yeah, it's going to so be stay real crazy. tuned for that. It's going to be pretty crazy. And I really like how the, um, you know, with the water scene... The cool ship coming out of that, that's pretty badass Cause too. Because, get this people, this is uh, a movie that's about illegal aliens, and some of them just happen to be interstellar, interspatial, interdimensional, whatever, aliens. Right, so basically, the gist of it is, there are sergeants. It's kind of like a border patrol scenario, but more like a... But we can it, impersonate but officers. It's, but it's though, more like yeah, a middle can. of the Arizona, yeah. just checking for illegal aliens. Yeah. There happens to be a lot of real aliens. And some of the uh, sergeants are, there's no such thing as real aliens, only illegal aliens. So we're going to be playing off of that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, aliens from... All walks. We're gonna have all kinds of aliens of all <laughs> all statures. Yes, aliens. aliens from from Mexico Lugo. and Mexico and, well, and aliens from Mexico. Sirius B and Zeta Reticuli. We talked about Planet Mexico. Yes, it's a uh, dirt ball planet with a uh, third <laughs> world, you know, thing going on, and uh, it's you know people live inside of two hundred square foot apartments. 
they have no electricity, and the water comes yeah, out browner than it yeah, does. Yeah, but remember, remember the movie Elysium. Yeah. Okay, remember. Space Mexicans. Remember how they had space Mexicans. Yeah, space Mexicans. That literally invaded a space station. I right. thought it was weird. It's like, right. they're like, and it was weird. The elite had all these ambulances up there. Right. It's like, it such a weird movie. It was a weird movie. It was movie. political. It, it was. was weird. It was I think I could have made it more interesting. Yeah, yeah. Matt Damon. <laughs> no one likes Matt Damon. I'm sorry. Know. Every time I look I at know. him, he looks like know. a peeled potato. I don't know. But personally, I liked Matt Damon in The Martian. He reminds me of a peeled potato. Oh whatever! You just you just the say Martian. That. No, the, the the Martian is. You didn't like the Martian? No, it's because he's like a Martian. Yeah, whatever. In real life, he's a Martian. Like, have you noticed it's not that? Like he was born there. Well, he certainly looks like and acts like it. <laughs> the Damon. Like, yeah, yeah, but you just say that because of. Uh, I've always America. disliked him. Fuck it, yeah! Well, the reason why is because he's come out and been political, <laughs> and I don't. And when oh. I hear retards like him, yeah, whatever. But you know, when celebrities it's like try to get a diesel off, finger yeah, paint, I know. But when celebrities get political, it's kind of like whatever. Anyway, mm. come on, you know. Especially when they're stupid. I mean, they're not. They're not senators. They're, they're not, not known for being smart. I, I think. Mean, I think they're just pretenders. Whatever. Mostly. Just because you're successful in a few movies and have a few million in your bank account, you think that everyone in the world's going to listen to what you have to yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever. And they never really did anything, yeah, except really. like donate like ten cents Whatever. to some charity for some Susan B. Komen thing. Yeah, but I know that uh, they were ragging on um, Tom Cruise. But well, Tom I am Cruise... looking. I am looking forward to the new Mummy movie with Tom Cruise. I think that's good, looks pretty interesting. The Mummy with Tom yeah, Cruise. Yeah, but it's completely different than the other Mummy movies. It's a stand. What, they don't suck as bad? It's not going to suck as bad? It's or a what? lot more epic, that's for sure. Well, yeah, duh. It's like 2017. Like, we've got special effects out the ass. Oh, man. They've got, got the, home computers that they got the most epic plane scene that I'm thinking, how in the hell would I have filmed that? I well, you don't a, film it. You just digitally create it all and just yeah, but still, throw your actors but in still, it. But still, even just with all I know with animation and After Effects, how the... Hell, what I have found It's that. called 20 people and badass computers Whoa, and a random and, farm. And maybe wires hanging from the ceiling, you know, so people can look like they're flying. Well, we no, we can green screen the flying. They can just stand <laughs> there, Kevin. Right. And we'll just do it all on green screen. Right. Well, <laughs> well, eventually I'll get to that level. Trust me. They'll just stand there like old, old Bollywood videos where they're like, Yes. Like standing there like Superman yeah. flying through the air. Well, Superman. once I get to where I'm going and set up my legit studio, we will have all those harnesses on wires or dollies, dolly zooms. And You're going to have to do a scene like what you've seen in uh, Goldmember. Oh, yeah. Or uh, what is it? Uh, Austin Powers with Fat Bastard. Oh, yeah. With the whole Which team part? of wire people. Oh, yeah. Or he's holding them up and he's doing like, yeah, oh, the, yeah, the, the flips. Kung Fu flips. Oh, yeah. my God. Can you imagine? I hope my wire team is ready. <laughs> and they're like, you could just see their shadows, like in the wire break, and just like people flinging, like in a different direction. It's like, get in my belly. Yeah, yeah. yeah fat bastard. He well, was I'm a good telling character. you, I'm telling you, we can. I think that's why I always bring it up to you. I think comedy movies, I think, are the easiest to do. Not necessarily. If you, if you, because you might, it might be funny to you, but not funny to anyone else on the. Well, planet. I can guarantee you some of the stuff that we can come up with. They would be funny to a lot of people. Well, a lot of especially people, especially if you're doing it. Yeah, but a lot of people giggle at our little marijuana joke, with the indica, indica vagina. vagina. Oh yeah, you know. That, yeah. That, what what, <laughs> what strain? What strain of marijuana? Because I saw this. I saw this article about right uh, hemp. Or marijuana yeah. tampons. Yes. So I was yes. thinking to myself, yes. mm. what strain... What would the slogan be for that? It would be Indica the Vagina. <laughs> How classic is that? You insert the Indica the Vagina. <laughs> right. right. Yes. And you get high and... I don't know. I don't stop know. the bleeding, maybe. I don't know. I don't trust anything that bleeds for five days and I doesn't do die. Not. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. That's out of our... It sounds uh, like a zombie that's horror out flick. of our uh, expertise. <laughs> it sounds like a zombie <laughs> thriller. It was just... A zombie or, thriller. Or vampire. I wonder what vampires think of that whole thing. I don't you know. You never see that topic we talked about. I don't know, man. <laughs> so, Ooh. is that a movie? 
idea. <laughs> no, I don't Empires know. that feed off ministrations. <laughs> Holy crap, that would be sick and nasty and uh, quite crazy at the same time. Uh, It'd be very pornographic, maybe. I don't know. It would be almost... Weird, uh, uh, weird, uh, weird concept. Yes, yeah, very weird concept. <laughs> Women are not very happy during that period in time, and right, vampires right. are going to definitely right. be having a bad day if they're sneaking in windows and sneaking up in there and snacking. They're like, okay, well, it's Susie's time of you know, <laughs> so let's hang out in the yard and at the opportune time sneak in for the feeding. <laughs> the, the feeding, Kevin. <laughs> Get right. a snack on that. Say that. Mm. Mm. It's like a KFC snacker. <laughs> yes, yes, we're twisted. Yes, we. Yes, yes, we come up with crazy movie ideas all the time. Yes, and he, we've been drinking beer. He constantly wants to come up with some comedy. So I'm like, okay, I'm more of a serious director, serious writer, as you're going to see. But with him. And he wants to do little, maybe eight minute little comedy sketches. Yeah, of just like random things that, like on the daily that we see, just a right. spoof on like, like you know, drinking coffee in the morning from right. like, just everything that we experience. There's always something funny that we can think of during the day, yeah. and let's like express it in like the most abstract, right? Pull it, flush it out right. in its fullest way. Just kind of do something stupid, <laughs> right? That's all it's about. That's what people want. I mean, I don't know. Give the people what they want. I still think it'd be interesting to do some cool parody songs. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you. I had a, uh, a rap artist here in Prescott. He approached me the other day. He found out I do videos. And he wants to talk to us about doing a music video for him. Booty shaking. I think, Deluxe. I think that'd be fun. I'm like, so what do you want in it? Do you want a bunch of bitches? Or do you, <laughs> or do you want it raining? Come on, Kevin. Come on. Or, I mean, what do you want? Do you want it in, a, in front of a Lambo? I mean, what do rappers do, you know? So I think that might be fun. Oh, and I talked to Mike's uh, <coughs> gas station. Uh, the guy's coming in on the 13th, and mm. they're for sure... Wanting us to film their commercial. Well, shit. So, hey, man, things are happening. Not only are we doing short films, getting ready for a major film, but we're also doing local commercials here in town. Yeah, and that one should be easy. That'd like be a little fun, banner, right? it says Mike's Liquor, yeah. and pan inside kind of the shop. Trying to zoom down the aisles a little bit, show the show the liquor area, right? Be like, be we're better than Circle K. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna love it. Our part, we got better parking. There you go. You know what? That's the, one of the things that we're gonna talk to him about. Right. We're gonna emphasize in the commercial that it's easier to get in and out. Right. In terms of, it's relatively easier to get in and out of Mike's than it Probably is. Not. Than it is. Yeah, that's from that's from Mike's right there. Mm -hmm. Sp mm -hmm. Yeah, sponsored by Mike's. From Mike's. Uh, yeah, not brown ale. <laughs> we just love the fact that this turns into like pure glass. Yes, yes. With a floating well, mine's emblem, a, maybe. Mine won't float around. His won't, but mine won't. Okay, well, we've messed around long enough. I yes. think we're running out of ideas. So, we've had uh, fun, and we will talk to you next week.